Hello, today is day eight. Boy, it was a hot one yesterday and I think it's gonna be a hot one again today. I hope you guys are doing well. Today I wanted to record a brief blog on uh, goal setting. I'm gonna be doing a longer one, um, probably over the next month or two on the steps of goal setting and breaking it down into um, um, a more detailed blog. But today I just wanted to talk about some of the, the key elements of successful goal setting. So one of the first ones I found to be really helpful is to actually write down what it is specifically that you want, but more importantly, why you want it. So if you've got a vision of a particular goal, you know what that is, you know um, the basic construction of the goal, but writing down why you want it. Maybe it's because you want to, um, you want to run a half marathon, because you want to feel better, you want lifelong health, whatever it is, writing that down, that the, the why is really, really important. Uh, once you've done that, then researching the goal can be really helpful. So there will be somebody on the planet that's achieved the goal that you want. And often you'll find um, a video on YouTube or, or some other internet site of a success story of somebody that's achieved what you want. So researching it, do a bit of research, search on Google and so on to find people that have actually achieved the goal and either make contact with them or just read their story, watch their video, because that will give you some insight into how they achieved the goal, what problems they were having, how they broke it down. And that breaking down is, is the next area, which is to break down your goal into bite-sized chunks. So rather than having the whole goal, doing it bit by bit. So again, if we come back to the, the goal of running a half marathon, one element of the goal could be nutrition. The other one could be on finding the right running shoe. The other one could be on finding maybe a, a training partner or a, um, a gym to go to. There's lots of elements, but breaking it down. The other area is, is around taking immediate action. So once you've broken down your goal into steps, and um, you've actually written it down, to actually take immediate action. So um, that will help get you to have momentum and move forward. And then the final area is around recording the goal. So this is gonna be an important part of your life to have achieved this goal at some point in the future. So it's really good to record it. And I mentioned on a, a previous blog the other day on the importance of keeping a journal. Well, a journal is a great place to record your goals and record your progress towards a goal. So writing down your goal, writing down why you want it, writing down the steps um, that will help make up your goal is really important and then recording maybe once a week how you're progressing towards that goal will really help. And then the final element, which I think is one of the most important, is actually to celebrate your goal. We often go, go through life achieving goals, we get to it and we then just set a new goal, but we don't actually celebrate. So in the moment when you've actually achieved the goal, celebrate with somebody that you love, your friends, whatever, but just celebrate because it's so important. That will reinforce achievement and reinforce the fact that you've achieved something really important and it will then give you energy to move on into your next goal. So that's it for today. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.